to another Fight of the Night review. This was for a Fight of the Night that took place at last night's card, UFC 255, which was main evented by two title fights in Davison Figueroa versus Alex Perez and Valentina Shevchenko versus Jennifer Meyer, with both champions retaining. But the Fight of the Night of the card was not ever of those two, but it was actually the very first fight of the card between two newcomers, Luis Kose and Sasha Palatnikov from Hong Kong. And as always, it is my job to break down the fight, talk about the bits I liked and the bits I noticed, and uh, yeah, basically just tell you my grade. Well, not great. Basically, just tell you what I thought by the end of it, and let's just get into it. So, the fight starts in both men touch gloves, and, um, yeah, there is a pretty good feeling here process, with uh, Lewis sort of taking advantage with some kicks, and then it, like, it doesn't take long for the action to really, like, kick in. He lands a hell of a right hand that sort of, um, it, it hits Sasha really hard, and then he follows out with some really good strikes. He takes down Sasha and goes for a lot of really great groundwork, he just has him against the cage and is like throwing bombs at Sasha. And Sasha is still sort of landing pretty well, but the first half of the round definitely goes to Lewis in my opinion. He was landing a lot of really great shots, he lands really good uh, combos. He knocked down Sasha like at some point in round one as well. And he, it was sort of clear he gassed himself out because yeah, he, he had like this really great momentum going, but he couldn't keep it going forever, and eventually Sasha managed to get to his feet, and Lewis was still pressing the action, but he was getting caught with some shots as he was moving in, Sasha was starting to land a lot more technical uh, uh, technical combos on him, and eventually it just got to a bit where, I, I don't know, I was looking down there, <laughs> it got to a bit where Sasha actually landed a combo of his own, and he was starting to get um, a bit of control for the second half of round one, he landed some really good combos of his own. He landed a beautiful spinning back fist to close out the round. He landed um, really good clinch work. However, in the round, and this was sort of a problem that I do have with the fight, which I'll talk about a bit more when I get to the end of it, there was some cage work, and Sasha did grab the cage a, f a fair bit. He So, yeah, it's something I'll touch on more uh, in, in a little while, but... it. That aside, this was an extremely entertaining round. Definitely one of the best rounds of the year. I mean, Lewis definitely had the first half, you know. He opened with some really good action, got a good takedown. It was clear he was tired by the halfway point, though, which is what led Sasha to landing as many good counters as he did. Eventually managed to find a lot of openings. Um, had Lewis stunned quite a lot against, against the cage, and yeah, just throwing some really good shots at him. So, round one, it was close. But I think I might technically sort of give it to Lewis, mostly because he had the early goings and because his takedown, like, because judges see wrestling as being very, very handy for a fighter and helping them get the win. So I think the takedown he landed does help him to narrowly center round one, but it was very, very even. Extremely even. Then we get to round two, and it's not really as much of a competition. It is clear that Lewis is, like, he's empty by the time he gets, um, by the time he gets into round two. And, yeah, Sasha takes full advantage of that. He... Uh, counters like a lazy takedown at the start of the round like Lewis just doesn't even tell like he telegraphs it so openly actually he, I was gonna say he didn't telegraph it no if he didn't telegraph it, it would, he would, it would have actually landed it but no he just like f lazily went for it and yeah Sasha countered it and um, he countered pretty much every takedown that Lewis had to throw at him around so he turned it around and pushed him against the cage led some really good combos and he kept grabbing the cage again and, um, yeah, this was sort of an issue in the round. And actually, in round two, there was another point as well where, near the end of it, Lewis went for a boxing combo. But because of how out of power he was, he, he went for a left that sort of went down accidentally and did clip Sasha's cup a little bit. So, yeah, uh, it, it, to be honest, it does give Lewis time to recover, but he did land the shot. And, however, Sasha was being warned for grabbing the cage too much anyway, so... It was really, really weird. Round 2 was really weird, but I, Sasha did wind up winning it. He came to the takedowns really well, landed some really good uh, combos. He landed a really good knee up the middle. Um, yeah, just really good punching, landed that spinning back fist again. Uh, yeah, round 2 definitely goes to Sasha, even though it was a bit weird. Although, referee Chris Dione props to him for actually doing a really good job in this... Uh, in, th in this entire fight, he did, like, manage to... Uh, make the dips in the action a bit more, um, well, not the dips in the action, like the unintentional fouls, which I'll talk more about in round three. Uh, he, he made them a bit more bearable to sit through, you know? Then we get to round three, and it's sort of the same versus round two. Sasha is taking advantage a lot. Lewis is completely gassed. Sasha is going for a lot of really good combos. He goes for some good clinch work. He 
does grab the cage. I think it's in round three where he grabs the cage again and he gets a very fair warning from Chris Tyone. He doesn't get a point deducted. And this is something that the commentary team pointed out because they thought he would get one deducted because he grabbed the cage like... By that point in round three, I think he grabbed the cage a total of maybe in the double digits. It was... Like, I was watching his hand a lot because Chris... I, it was like I was Chris in the match, you know. That would be cool if I were never my referee. I would love that job. I'd be terrible at it, but I would love the job. But it was like I was just watching Sasha's hands keep grabbing the cage. Like, no, you're not supposed to do that. You push against it. And he did use it a couple of times to help him defend a takedown, which is a bit dirty. But yeah, he was warned for that. And then there was a moment where they met in the clinch again in the cage. And Lewis went for a knee up the middle. And it landed on the body, but... You know how it is when you get in that close range against the cage like that? His foot, or rather his calf area, accidentally clipped Sasha right into the newts. And, uh, yeah. That, this caused, like, the longest break in the match in terms of the foul. Because the one in round two was only about... It, it wasn't even a full minute. I think it was about 30-40 seconds. The one in round three was about a minute and a half or a minute and three quarters. It was, it was in that time frame. So, yeah, Sasha needed a lot of time to recover from it. And it was about the halfway point through the round, sort of. But it would end not long after. Sasha would land a vicious right hand that would drop Lewis. And then he would follow up with some really good punches as Lewis was in a turtled position, a sprawl position. And eventually Chris Tyone stopped the fight. And Sasha won by third round TKO. Uh, so, sort of in the middle point area of round three. So I thought this fight... I thought the first round was really great. I loved the first round. The second round was just weird with all the... Um, it, it, it was definitely a lot more lopsided. And the round three, after, like, the grab, you know, the fence, all the fence grabbing and, like, the accidental groin shot. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I thought it was the first round was entertaining, but the rest of the fight did not really carry that momentum for me. And Lewis was, like, he was fucking knackered but walking into round two. You could just tell. So, yeah, I don't think this fight is going to be on my best of the year. If it were just round one and it ended, like, some point in round two with a bit more excitement, it probably would be, but... And it, it, it was decent. Like, the first one was really great, but the rest of the fight didn't really keep that excitement, you know? It didn't really get me invested in it as much as round one did. But still, round one is a great fucking round, so I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of what else to say. Decent fight. D worth seeking out for the first round alone, in my opinion. If you really want to find it, look at the first round alone. It's really, really good. And also, two newcomers getting a fight of the night? That's not a bad thing. I... You know, I would like to see Lewis do a bit more to improve his gas tank, especially because he does seem to be very wrestling focused and you need a good gas tank to be able to carry on wrestling as much as you're able to. And Sasha is a very, like, um, flashy sort of striker dude, as you would expect from, like, people in the, like, Hong Kong, like, China, Asian area, really. They actually do have a lot of really good strikers over there, and I'm really glad that, we've, that one of them is a current champion, so happy for that. But yeah, um, that'll about do it for this fight review. Uh, the next thing I'll see you for, I'm hoping either this Tuesday coming or next Tuesday, i um, going to have the first episode of AVW vs. PBW. And then um, the next video I should see you for, if I don't see you for a very brief history of the distillers, it'll probably be the next UFC fight night, which is main event between Curtis Blaze and Derek Lewis, if I'm not mistaken. Oh hell yeah, that's going to be a great fight. That's going to be a good fight. I like the idea of that fight. Anyway, I'll see you all, um, yeah, most likely for something backtracking or still is related, or possibly another episode of Catch Up Gas. Whatever it is, as always, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Bye-bye.